Getting the placement correct the first time, or taking into account the mechanical constraints, is an opportunity to eliminate rework during systems integration, where the costs are high. 3D placement allows the designer to visualize and validate the mechanical constraints early in the layout process. Symmetric implementation for component planning and placement for both 2D and 3D, including dynamic graphic synchronization, minimizes the impact on your existing PCB design process. And dynamic DRC validation allows for the correct by construction placement that adheres to your constraints. So let's take a quick look at 3D component planning and placement. During layout, selection and manipulation of components is the same for both 2D and 3D views. Simply select and drag on the 3D component model to start movement. Whilst moving, use the same rotation and push commands that are used in the 2D view. Multi-select parts on both the top and bottom of the board and drag them to move as a group. While moving these components, you can easily push and rotate them as a group using the standard features of PCB layout. Next, I'll multi-select some components and align them. The align commands will operate just as they do in the 2D view, allowing the designer to select components aligned to different methodologies. I'll choose Align Right to align the memory components to their right edges. Even within the 3D view, you have access to the part connectivity through Netline Display. This allows the optimization of component placement within 3D based on the connections between the components. The netlines are dynamically updated as the 3D component models are manipulated, supporting the same use cases for the component optimization that is found within the 2D view. There are two levels of supported 3D clearances, minimum and optimal, as defined in the constraint manager and used during 3D model manipulation. As 3D models are manipulated, the model color will change to reflect the dynamic 3D clearance verification. Red indicates that the minimum clearances were violated, and yellow indicates that the model clearances are between minimum and optimal. The 3D clearances defined in the Constraint Manager Object to Object rules can also be augmented to be instance specific. This allows the designer to define special clearances for situations such as when the model needs extra clearances, perhaps because of a metal body. Now, as the model is manipulated, the instance specific clearance rules are used. Parts are placed within the 3D view, the same as placing parts within the 2D view using Component Explorer. Component Explorer also allows planning groups to be placed. A planning group represents logical grouping of components, allowing planning of connectivity between groups before the physical components are placed. Once planning groups are placed, Component Explorer can be closed because both hierarchical subgroups, as well as individual components, can be placed directly from the planning groups by dragging on the corresponding text or by using the right mouse button commands when a group is selected. All of the same options available in 2D from the right mouse button specific to planning groups are also available in 3D. The designer can then select a planning group and use the arrange command to attach all components within the planning group to the cursor for placement. Once the parts have been placed within the group, the group outline can be displayed allowing easy selection of the physical circuit. Copy circuit can also be used on the selected physical circuit to replicate its placement and router within the design for unplaced equivalent logical circuits. The 3D and 2D views have symmetrical graphical sync capabilities. This allows the designer to have each view follow the other when doing pan and zoom operations. As you manipulate parts in either view, the dynamic graphics are reflected in both views. All selections and part manipulation options are synchronized between the views, allowing the designer to easily move between the views or get both view perspectives while doing part manipulations. All of the options for individual and multi-select, move, push and rotate are dynamically reflected between the 2D and 3D views. You have now seen how 3D planning and placement allows you to quickly visualize and implement your design intent to produce an optimal component placement while also taking into account electromechanical constraints.